Tonight, airlines are sending extra planes to Hawaii to help evacuate people as deadly wildfires ravage Maui. A connecting flight from the island landed at DIA earlier today, and a passenger returning home to Denver on that flight says he tried to leave a couple of days ago, but his flight kept getting pushed back. We found out that the uh, flight attendants were stuck in the hotel in Lahaina because the fire was surrounding them. United Airlines says it has canceled flights into Maui and that it's flying empty planes in to pick up passengers and then bring them back to the mainland. At least 53 people have now died as flames burn Maui and part of the Big Island. It's the deadliest U.S. wildfire since the 2018 campfire. And of the three fires burning in Maui, the Lahaina one is 80% contained. As ABC's Melissa Don explains, efforts are underway to contain the other two. Neighborhoods on the island of Maui in ruins after wildfires ravaged communities, reducing them to rubble. The destruction of Lahaina, the one-time capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, astounding. Dramatic new drone video showing hundreds of homes and businesses reduced to piles of rubble and ash. These images show what Lahaina used to look like, and that same street, now unrecognizable. Governor Josh Green touring the island today to see it all for himself. What we saw was likely the largest natural disaster in Hawaii state history. The devastation painstaking for families who called this historic city home. John Singer sharing with KBC's David Ono how he ran for his life and into the ocean to escape the flames. Devastation. Everything. Gone. I'm just, not just mine. There's nothing left. At least a dozen people rescued from the waters. Sean Doherty and his girlfriend among those jumping into the ocean. At one point, it seemed like might drown a little bit. I inhaled a lot of water. In the town of Kula, 35 miles east of Lahaina, Nancy Garnett has been evacuated three times. Authorities say it's safe for her to go back for now. This is just crazy, and I can't even. It's just too much as others wait to find out the fate of their homes. Benito Castillo Lopez sharing with me how he feels terrible for those who have lost their lives and homes. Tonight, we did find one glimmer of hope, Steve Scott, who got separated from his wife Patricia, now reunited. Earlier, people lined up in their cars waiting for an opportunity to go see if their home was still standing, but police asking them to hold off and wait at shelters. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Maui.